Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a makeup look in the honor of this palette right here because guys, this is back in stock. So I commented this on the last video I did with this palette, but I didn't know it by then and now I do. So Morphe announced at their Instagram that they are coming back with this palette and I couldn't be more happy about it because it is, I mean, first of all, it's so many different shades. The palette is huge. It is affordable. And this is a, this is a really good palette. And you can do a whole bunch of different looks with it. That is why I have like, I mean, I think I have like four or five makeup tutorials using this palette right now. Grab something to drink, enjoy, and let's get started. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna prime. Just use your favorite primer. Mine is, at the moment, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And I will just take a few drops of this and clap this into my skin. Now I'm only doing this primer because I'm only doing this makeup look like for the purpose of the video. So I'm not going out anywhere after this. It's actually 11 p.m. in the evening, so whew, I hope I don't look too tired. But what I mean by saying this is that you should use a primer, um, like if you have oily skin, you should use a mattifying one. If you have like dry skin, you should use a hydrating one, and so on. And for foundation today, I'm gonna go with the Revlon Colorstay Foundation for oily to um, combination skin, and this is in the shade 300 golden beige and using a damp beauty sponge I'm gonna buff this into my skin so I'm actually gonna go in with another layer and try to build up the coverage and this one does oxidize just a little bit you see how light it is right now I feel kind of like Nikki Tutorials right now, building up this foundation. For concealer today, I'm gonna use the LA HD Pro Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. Um, to be honest, it doesn't feel like this concealer goes well with the foundation. It feels like it creases immediately. So now really quickly, I'm gonna try to set that using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. Wow, okay, honestly, do not use this combo. These two products did not work well. Um, I have a really, really cakey feeling right now. And if you look really closely, my under eye area just looks cakey. Okay, so this was not the best combo. But for the purpose of the video, this, is, uh, this look is actually going to be focusing on the eyes so I'm gonna try to do the best of it right now and just move on to the eyes or actually before we do that I'm gonna uh, do a little contour and for that I'm gonna use the Pro HD Concealer by LA Girl and this one is in the shade Medium Bisque and again going in with my beauty sponge to blend that out Really, I just want to take this all off and shut down the camera. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep on moving. Okay, moving on to the brows. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and this one is in the shade Taupe. Now 
I'm just really quickly going to bronze up my face using the L'Oreal Back to Bronze Powder. And I'm just going in with a big fluffy brush. Going over, especially the area where we contoured. But really lightly, my own face. Then you can switch brush to a smaller one and kind of define that contour job. And for the nose contour, I'm going to go in with a blending brush. And for blush, I'm going to use the Life's a Peach Brush blush by um, L'Oreal. It's a really nice peachy shade. And I think it will go perfect with the green eye look of today's. And for highlighter, I'm going to use the Sleek Makeup Glow. This is the face and body highlighter. And this was actually a kind of a like a brick, a radiant brick. It had like different color shimmers in there. But um, I dropped it and it broke, so I fixed it with alcohol. Mm. And I really like the golden shimmer it has now when it's all mixed together. So now when the face is done, let's move on to eyes. And for eyeshadow today, we're going to use the Dare to Create 39A palette from Morphe. And this is available at morphe.com again so i'm really happy about it because i really like this palette and it has so many different nice shades and as you see i've used it a couple of times so today we will create a look using these colors right there for starters i'm gonna go in with the um blending brush by morphe this is just regular blending brush and i'm gonna start with the um actually one of these light shades in the palette just to define my crease a little bit and create a nice smooth transition next i'm gonna go in with this shade right there with the same brush and add this to my crease Now I'm gonna switch brush to a smaller, this is kind of a smaller tapered blending brush. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right there. And really going in with a light hand, add that to the very crease. And this will give the cut crease a more defined look later. And then I'm going back to that bigger blending brush and kind of going over this to get rid of these harsh lines. Let's leave it like that for now and cut the crease. And to do that, I'm going to use the um, Milani concealer. This is the Secret Cover Warm Beige. So. It's a cream concealer I like this and I'm just gonna go in straight into the pan, pick some up on my brush and cut the crease with it. Now I'm just gonna take a eyeshadow brush. This is just a brush that I like to pack on product with. And I think I'm gonna first of all go in with this shade right there and add this to my inner half of my eye. Actually, I'm gonna switch to my finger. Cause I feel like with my finger, it looks more kind of like a foil. I like it a little bit better and for the outer part I'm gonna go in with this shade right there 
And then with the brush, I'm just gonna blend these two together. And for my under eye area, I'm actually gonna try and go in with this shade right there. I'm not really sure it matches the look, but why not just try it out? And for my inner waterline, I'm gonna use the Coal Eyeliner Pencil in Green Ivy. My eyes are always watering when I do this, just for a sec. So to finish the eyeshadow off, I'm gonna go in with this yellow shade right there. And this is from a brand called Flormar. So I'm gonna go in with my E36 from Morphe. This is a really nice small pencil brush. I love this for my inner corner highlight. And I'm gonna go in with this shade and pop this into my inner corner. So for eyeliner today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna use an eyeliner brush. This one is by Peggy Sage, but this is not the best. And I'm gonna take a eyeliner cake. This one's also by Pegasage. It looks like this. It is just black, dry. And what you need is a few drops of water that I have in the cap of this. And this is actually like water coloring. So you go in with the water and kind of warming up the product. Let's see if we can handle this. So this is not that hard to work with, but it just needs to be fast because it dries down. Is there anyone else that actually stops breathing while doing eyeliner? <sighs> okay guys, let's add some mascara and pop on some lashes. Today I'm using the Paradise Ecstatic by L'Oreal. I'm gonna just put one coat to my upper lashes just so that the falsies later have something to lean on. So while I'm letting that mascara dry, I'm gonna move on to lips. And today we're using this combo by NYX. There we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. So this is the lip liner in Peekaboo. And this is a liquid lipstick from the Lingerie series. And this is in the shade Bedtime Flirt. Starting off with the lip pencil. I'm slightly, slightly outlining my lips to give them a fuller effect. And on top of that, the liquid lipstick. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop on some lashes now and I will really quickly be right back. Okay guys, lashes on. I mean, it took me like 20 minutes to pop on a pair of lashes. The lash glue, it was like, not my best friend. The lashes, I mean, after this, they're going into the trash. Nothing went as I wanted it to go in this makeup tutorial look. But, you know, you have to work with what you got. Sometimes you have better days. Sometimes you have worse days. Anyways, I hope you somehow um, enjoyed it anyways. I thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!